Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be giving you all a tour of my first vehicle. Um, well, technically it's not mine yet, but it will be in the near future. I am buying it from my dad, which is awesome. Um, but anyway, without uh, further ado, I'll go ahead and get on with the tour. Um, FYI, this is my first time doing a car tour video, so if I mess up on anything, you know, words, verbal, verbally, or any kind of, I misuse technical terms, you know, just bear with me and please forgive me. Um, once again, it's my, once again, it's my first time, so, uh, so yeah, let's get on with it. All right, here it is. It's here she is. It's a 2004 Buick Rainier CXL. Of course, it's an SUV. Um, starting with the exterior, the paint, as you can tell, it is forest green metallic. Buick um, identifies it as another um, paint color, but I don't know the name of that off heart by heart. So. I'm just going with forest green metallic. Uh, the body is in great shape. No dents or anything. However, it does have a few scratches. Like one right here. There's one right there. And I don't know how well you can see this one. One right there. And you know, on various areas of the car body, there is more scratches. But I won't go into detail about all that or show you any of that because you kind of get the idea. Um, other than that, you know, no really, no dents or anything on the car. The body is straight. Everything is, every, it looks nice. However, there is a, the bumper, front bumper on the passenger side is misaligned, but I'll get to that shortly. But like I said, nothing major. The wheels are stock 15 inch alloys. I have, uh, they match, of course all wheels match. This is pretty much what they look like, all four wheels. Um, they are in rough shape, so to speak. Like right here, there's like a little scuff mark. Um, right there as well, no, just little certain spots of the car, other, I mean, of the wheel that are scuffed up a little bit, but other than that, it's solid, you know, nothing, it's not like messed up in any way, other than, like I said, the scuff marks. Uh, same with this wheel. Again, you know, little scuff marks here and there. Don't know if y'all can see them too well, but right here, this one's a little rough as well, like, you know, right here and there. Just, you know, sort of spots, nothing, like I said, doesn't hinder the performance of the SUV, so I'm not too, too worried about it. They'll get, I'll fix them over time, though. It's not nothing on my priority list. The center caps are all there, except the front passenger wheel, it is missing a center cap, but, it's nothing, like I said, over time I'll replace that. Nothing really major. I got it replaced right there, here and now. But, <clears throat> it, these, uh, what do you call these things? The emblems, uh, sorry, the emblems are all there. Except this front one right here. But the back two, uh, Duke uh, emblems in it are there. See, see that one right there. Uh, here's the passenger side. Again, great shape. So there's scratches, I'm sure, on that side too, but not too worried about it. The front of it, the front of the SUV. Uh, headlights are in great shape. Close up of that. Crystal clear. Uh, nice Buick emblem, of course, on the front. I'm not sure, this is not real, I don't think this is real chrome. I don't know the technical term, so I call it imitation chrome. 
it looks like chrome but it's not real chrome uh, it would be cool if it was though uh, tires are in great shape all the has a good amount of tread life left uh, they are mile star grantlands i do believe and all four tires match so again this is kind of a good idea of what the tire tread looks like on it on them rather and i'll show you that real quick i'm not going to give you like a detailed view of the tires because they said the I did on that first one, that's pretty much what they look like. Oh, the other three look like so. Again, the tread life is great on them. I don't have to worry about changing them to start buying new tires for a while. <laughs> um, let's see, it's got fog lights, which is awesome. Nice little feature. If I do sound a little hurried, please do bear with me. Um, and forgive me as well, because I do not know how much time I do have on this camera, a uh, video camera, uh, and also I'm not sure if it will pick up everything once I upload it to my computer after I, of course, you know, get done recording. So again, if I sound hurry, just bear with me. Uh, it does have a tow hitch, which is awesome. Complete with the, um, I don't know if it has the plug or not, the little electrical plug or not, but it's pretty cool. It has these like little hooks. Like little, I guess the hook thing right there. Fletchers. It's got triple A, which is awesome. In case I break down on the side of the road somewhere. Uh, which I hope, God forbid, doesn't happen. As my tail lights are in great shape. Um, the only other thing, where is that? This little part of this, like, I guess it's a bumper protector thing. It kind of is coming up a little bit, but again, you know, nothing to worry about. I'll get that. This is the little stuff over time, you know. I might not even worry about it. I don't know. Just keeping it running and stuff is all I'm worried about. Again, you know, more imitation chrome, quote unquote, in the back here. CXL. Of course, the name of the vehicle right there. Or the model, rather. Gas tank. Door or fuel door, as they say. Ow, that's hot. Gee whiz. Color accented doors. Um, door doors, okay. Door handles, rather. And what's really neat is the mirrors have integrated turn signals and also a reflector, which is cool. Um, of course, same thing on the other mirror. It's really cool. I like that. Um, it does have a nice luggage rack on the back. I mean, on the back, on the top. Um, eventually, over time, I'm going to get a uh, t t tow hitch mounted bike rack. Ugh, couldn't think for a second. Because um, I like, I do like to bike ride and stuff. And eventually, when I get my full license, I'm going to probably maybe just go for a ride. You know, maybe in the future. You know, not not, like, not right now. But, uh, let's see, anything else? Oh, let me show you that thing I was talking about with the bumper earlier. This is what I meant by when it's misaligned a little bit, um, kind of beat up a little bit. You know, the side marker here is, doesn't quite go evenly with the bumper there. The reason why that is my brother was trying to fix a knocking noise that this makes when you go down the accelerate down the highway um so it does it like at only 40 when you go up to 45 miles per hour uh but so he tried to you know fix that prevent that from happening again and so he used a zip tie to do some kind of thing under there and it didn't work so but it's okay you know i'm not like mad about it of course you know he did his best so give him a pause for that Whew. uh again that'll be fixed over time well the knocking thing is one of the first things we're gonna get done with it side so of the tune-up and all that because you know that it might be the knocking might be not so good not, not might not be a good thing so we're gonna my dad is gonna get that looked at for me 
so just awesome. I don't think there's anything else to show you. I pretty much showed you all the well I've got the hood open here. Hopefully this thing's not hot. I haven't driven it in a while so or it hasn't been driven in a while rather. So, except like I said I just pulled it up from the there's parking space there into this into my grass our grass so I can show you. I'm not good at this one handed thing. Um let's see. Ah. There it is. Oh my god, this is so much heavy. Oh Jesus. Excuse my French, sorry. Or excuse my language here. Um I'm not gonna keep this open for long because it's a prop rod type of thing set up so uh so I'm not and the hood's heavy so I'm not really gonna show you a whole lot. Again here's the engine. Obviously it is a Vortec 4.2 liter Buick, I believe it's a Buick engine, I mean, Bu I believe it's a, a Buick engine because the reason why I'm saying that is because I think way back um, GM like kind of sort of, I guess, used um, engines from other GMs to, you know, fit into their cars like, like for instance Buick had like the, the old saber of 1984 had a Oldsmobile so and so whatever you know engine so I don't know if they still do that or not or they stick with their own engines but anyway this is a 4.2 liter Vortec V6 I believe like I said it's by Buick and it not sure of the horsepower uh, I think it's 275 I do believe um, I'll actually research that real quick um, after I get done with this video and uh, put that in the description. <laughs> but uh, it's it's real, it gets out of its own way. Let's put it that way. Again, you know, please excuse the um, thing here. I'm oh shaking. Cause I'm trying to put this down. Ow. Ouch. Whew. That hood is heavy, you know. Speaking of the hood, this line, you know, everybody like kind of likes to put their finger along this like gap right there. You know, it's, it's perfect, you know, it's in great shape. You know, again, you can, whoops, right, let me see that again. Look at that, nothing really major. You know, everything is perfect. Um, again, you know, I'm not too worried about the what physical damage, body damage there is, because you know it's nothing hinder it's nothing hindering the performance of the vehicle. Um, I've got my keys right here, so I'll go ahead and climb inside, show y'all the interior. All right, whoo, it's hot. It's a hot day. So, oh my gosh, the interior's hot. Okay, um, here's the front driver door obviously it has power windows power seats you know all the bells and whistles of a luxury suv and a luxury vehicle in general um it had the it's like um i don't know what you call it this trim that went around the door handle here and it it's missing obviously and so is the passenger and I do believe the, yeah, the rear passenger seats have doors, rather, have the trim there, the door handle trim. Uh, it's got, a, obviously, a steering wheel cover, which is awesome. Originally had a Hawaiian one, which is kind of wore out over time. Here is my cross necklace, because I know God is with me every time I drive. Not to get all spiritual on y'all or anything, but it's just a little thing I like. It's one of the main reasons why I had that besides this awesome looking cross of that. It's got a 120 mile per hour speedometer. Again, I don't know if I told you all this, but if it sounds, I know it sounds like I'm selling the car, but I am not. I just like, I just thought it'd be kind of a cool way to present my video here. However, let's go ahead and see how this beast sounds. Alright, I'm not driving it because obviously I can't drive it without someone in the car with me, but I can. I am going to start it up. Let's see. 
needs to tune up, which it sounds a little rough. I'm going to uh, let's see. Okay, where's the gas? Can't find a gas pedal. Uh, I'll turn this air off here. All right. I'm going to do a little rev up here. It needs a little uh, um, tune-up, but or I guess a, I don't know if it's a little or a major tune-up, but you know, either way, it needs a tune-up. Um, heat and air work really well in it. Uh, it's got a nice sound or sound, nice stereo with a nice sound system. It's got like you know your bass and all that kind of stuff. I'll show you that here. Close the door. Let's see. There's the. But I've got to let you know just how I feel. There you go. While I'm standing here. Got a. Uh, watching you. Uh, go ahead and turn that down so you can hear me. It does have like um, fade, balance, bass, which is awesome, I think. Oh. Um, <laughs> The mid, whatever that stands for. Um, treble, or fade, balance, blah, blah, blah. Um, audio type, classic rock, college, country, inform, jazz, whatnot, you know. It's got, of course, a CD player, cassette, of course, a seat button right there, and all the other little stuff it does have OnStar but it is not hooked up turn this thing off before I run out of gas oh let me wait here hold on all right I'm trying to excuse me for a second I'm trying to like Okay, here we go. So let me go ahead and show oh, y'all listen to the radio for a second. Jason Alden. Again, you know, radio works nicely. Radio works really well. Um, it's got a four-speed automatic transmission in it, which is awesome. Shifts nicely. Got to kind of give it a little squeeze, but I think that's because my strength is not really that great in my fingers. But I give it a whirl anyway. All right. Um, yeah. Like I said, you know, all your power controls there. It does have a power, you know, power options here for your seat. Not sure what all of them do, but I know this one goes forward and back. This one goes, you know, this one, the whole seat goes forward and back if you press this one. If you do this one, it adjusts this. Gotta have like a pillow right here because this forward and back one's broken, so, for the whole seat. So I had to have a seat, a little pillow there to give me a boost up a little bit. But yeah, nothing too bad. The weather is in great shape. Formats are a little rough, but no worries. They look good for now. All right. See the back seat. Excuse the jump in the back here. Uh, then, oh yeah, the trim. This is what I was talking about. But the trim. Um, you know, what I was talking about on the front there. The front doors. The trim right here is all there. Sort of loose, but same with that door right there. Power windows for the rear passengers there. Again, you know, nothing to, to really worry about. Um, it's got a rear hatch, obviously. I mean, rear hatch, rear. Well, it's a nice uh, rear space there for cargo. Cargo area, that's why. All right. Again, trying to hurry up with this thing. 
in. Now I'm gonna pop up this thing. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, good. It does have a sunroof, which is awesome. I'll show you that real quick. Passenger seat here. Oh yeah. Nice sunny days. If I wanna ride, cruise around, you know, I can listen to the radio, have the sunroof open. I don't think I would actually have the the glass open because it's hard to get back closed nicely. Where does it leak? Sunglasses holder, which is cool. Again, you know, heated it does have heated seats. Which is really cool. I like that. Especially in the winter time. When you get in here and you freeze your rear end off and you start singing opera. And and trust me, all y'all don't want to hear me sing opera. <laughs> But anyway, that, that's, I think that's all I gotta show y'all. Uh, I think that's all. Nothing else, I'm trying to hurry up before I run out of time here. I'm already at 21 minutes, so. Um, oh yeah, what's really cool, y'all can't see it too good because the seats are down in the back here, but it does have rear climate controls there. And also a stereo is back there as well. You can hook up your headphones to it. You know, put, it has a headphone jack you can put up in there. And like if I have my buddies around, you know, well, not my, anybody. I'm not going to have a lot of people riding with me, unfortunately. But um, for my, that's my choice, I guess, right now, you know, until I get used to driving and stuff, I'm not going to haul many people around, But which is cool. You know, I don't have a lot of friends. That you know wouldn't hang. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I might in the future. I can't say that they wouldn't hang out with me. I don't know for certain. But anyway, uh, but anyway, if there was somebody back there, you know, they can listen to the radio if they wanted to bring their headphones. Like I said, the speaker. Uh, like I said, you know, nothing really major wrong with it inside. Uh, speakers work really good, really well. Excuse me. Um, yeah. Uh, it does, there's like a hole in the roof right there, the headliner, because that's where a DVD player was. But, um, that's no longer there, obviously. It does have OnStar, but it does not work. Yeah, I can choose to have that connected, but I'd rather not listen to the annoying lady. <laughs> I'd just rather check a cell phone and dial 911. And, and, or hope and pray to God that somebody comes after me. Or sees me and gets help for me. But yeah, not too bad. Uh, that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, nothing else to show y'all, really. I showed you the outside, the major, the, the important stuff, basically, the major stuff. Or we'll mix some trainees, I didn't really show you, but you get the idea. Uh, but yeah. That's pretty much, oops, that's pretty much a tour of my first car, well, near future first car, quote unquote. <laughs>